Good morning, everybody. I know this is pretty alarming. Um, I meant to do this last night, but dinner got ready late and I forgot. So we're doing it this morning. I mean, what better way to start a Monday than with a nice, um, clean, purified face. Um, so have, if you haven't figured out, I am um, trying the Jordan Essentials Detox and Clay Mask. And I wanted to compare it to what I usually use, um, which is actually not the Body Shop um, charcoal mask. I found that one to be really messy because it had like chunks of natural stuff in it. And I also found it to be too menthol-y that it, sometimes it burned my face off if my skin was dry or things like that. The one that I actually use is the uh, Mary Kay Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. Um, it's a lot more gentle formula. Um, and this one I like is when it's dry, you can see all the little polka dots of the stuff that... Um, it had pulled from your skin. Um, how it compares to the Jordan Essentials, obviously they're two different colors. Um, I was trying to figure out why, and the only thing that I could think of is that the Mary Kay one has, um, they both have activated charcoal. Um, the Mary Kay one has kaolin and betonite clays. So maybe that's why it also has navy bean extracts, but I don't know if that would make the mask um, the normal charcoal color that you see. Um, whereas, I don't even know what tab this is. The Jordan Essentials um, has activated charcoal from coconut shells. I don't know what kind of, it didn't list where the activated charcoal in the Mary Kay mask came from. Um, but I do know that the Jordan Essentials came from activated um, charcoal from coconut shells. Um, also listed under this product, um, under Jordan Essentials, um, it says the char activated charcoal removes impurities, bacteria, dead skin cells. Um, it also suggests using it as a detox foot mask, which is never thought of doing that but that is really cool um you just cover the soles of your feet and relax for 30 minutes and wash your feet um also to detox your armpits which is brilliant especially if we're using like the swab or any of those um that contain aluminum and all the other chemicals um, I'm guilty of do using those because I have stress sweat that smells super duper bad and I haven't found um, a natural one yet that allows me to be in public. Um, so maybe I just need to detox my armpits. Who knows? So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I will come back to you once it's dry. Okay, I'm back. Um, everything has dried. I realized that I forgot to go over the ingredients in the Jordan Essentials uh, Detox and Clay Max. Um, it's worth mentioning. Uh, it has apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, castor seed oil, sunflower seed oil, aloe, um, green tea leaf extract, seaweed extract, um, which in my last video I had stated that um, the face wash that I was using was a seaweed um, face scrub, so I know that that really helps um, clear your face, especially if you have oily skin. So let's move to my bathroom, where the light is really bright. I just changed the light bulb, so it points out every mistake you've ever made in your life. And take a look at this. Um, the... You can see, if it focuses, you can mostly see on my chin. This is the Mary Kay one. Um, they're both hard, um, but the Mary Kay one is more thick, so it's more hard on my skin. I don't know if you'll be able to see, like, the little polka dots. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Of probably some of my chin. Of where it pulled out. If anybody wants to try this, let me know. I do not sell Mary Kay, um, but I do know a few consultants. Um, looking in my mirror. I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus. I don't know if I'm just seeing this or not, but um, 
like right here. Focus. I was playing with plants too, so I had dirty fingernails. It won't focus. But I could see like a little black polka dot right there. And right there. So I don't know if it's just something in the mask or if it actually pulled. It's the stuff that pulled from it. So there you go. Um, still crunchy. My son made me breakfast. So I ate some. So now everything's peeling off around my mouth. <laughs> it's just coming off. I wonder if I even need to wash it. I could probably just flake it off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. And we'll see how everything feels. Okay. I'm back. Washed it off, gave it a minute to dry to see how my skin feels. Um, I do, even though the body shop did me dirty, I do have to brag one item from them. This is a facial flannel. Um, it's literally a thin magic eraser that you use and it works wonderfully to get all of your masks on, off. And I, I love it. I have a whole bunch of them. And you could, I throw it in the washing machine when it needs to be washed. Um, so, see? bright. I'm telling you, it's going to point out all my life's mistakes. Overall, both sides feel really smooth and soft and very, very clean. Um, I have, I don't have sensitive skin, but I blotch and I get red really easily. And I noticed that the, um, Mary Kay side is a little red compared to the Jordan Essentials, so that's probably because of uh, the natural ingredients uh, in the Jordan Essentials. Uh, you could even see the difference in my forehead, like one half's red and one half's not. That's my cold snore. Welcome to winter. Um, the Jordan Essential side actually feels a little moist, a little less dry, also, probably because of the natural ingredients, um, this one feels a little more dry than the side. Um, but there you go. Uh, if anybody wants to try either of them, or you want me to send you both, uh, once I get my kid in, I think tomorrow, um, I'll send you both and you can do a comparison as well. Uh, so thank you. Bye.